What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Before I get started I just want to say my thoughts and prayers are with everyone in the Western Cape, especially Cape Town today, who were affected by this dreaded storm that hit um, the Cape um, uh, late hours of last night and has gone out throughout the day. My thoughts are with you guys, especially those who have lost loved ones. I think the last I checked, nine people were killed through the storm. Um, to the ones who have lost their homes, lost the roofs of their homes, my thoughts are with you guys and I hope that everything can be recovered as soon as possible, as quick as possible. I know we were all begging for rain and a big, big storm like this, but nothing's ever pleasant when it gets to a stage and affecting people's lives or homes. Um, so it's, it's terribly sad that something like this has happened. But um, I really hope for Cape Town and the Western Cape sake that the rain has been caught in the catchment areas and that the dams are filling and all that stuff so we can at least get a positive side from the storm even though there's not really m any positives from it especially when it's a disaster like this takes people's lives um, and, and affects people's homes and all that stuff so thoughts are with you guys the reason for today's video is to show you guys a disturbing clip that was very well edited by an individual um, who created a tornado coming through um, over Lion's Head, which is a mountain in the Western Cape for those watching from overseas, which is connected to Table Mountain. Um, this is quite a disturbing video, especially if you're not aware of it or aren't aware of it being fake or fake news. Um, I saw it before I knew it was fake. Um, and I got quite a, quite a fright because I have family and friends living in Cape Town and it was quite disturbing. I'm going to show you guys this clip, but please know it is fake, it's not real. But I want to share and elaborate with you after I've shown you this clip. Here it is. <laughs> Now I know the pros would be able to spot the mistakes very quickly but if you're in a situation where you know people who stay close to that area you're going to a sudden panic and stress and worry because you might have family or friends um, staying there and you're going to be concerned of their lives, you're going to be concerned of their homes and all that stuff. So when you see it, when I saw it I, got, I was um, quite taken back because I have family in Cape Town in Newlands area, okay, it's still a way away, but still, but even that's at stake. The people's lives that could have got um, taken away from that storm, houses would have been affected. So the point of this creation of this tornado in the middle of um, a massive storm like this today is pathetic, really. What's the point of creating a video like that? To scare people? To get attention? To grow your YouTube followers or your uh, wherever you post your videos or Facebook followers, really, what is the point of it, guys? Fake news is starting to grow and grow, and it's actually getting quite um, disgusting. What's the point of creating a, a video like that of a natural disaster happening when it's fake? Um, there were um, extensive winds today of 90 k's an hour, but there was no tornado. And the fact that someone could scare people like that by creating um, a video like that is really wrong cruel and pathetic. Think of the people's lives that have been affected. Nine people, as last time I checked, have been killed today through the storm. People's homes and houses have been affected, as I said earlier. I mean, really, you can't create stuff like this just to gain attention. I mean, I, don't, I can't even think of why a person would want to do that. Um, it's just maybe a sick, cruel mind within, and it's really sad and pathetic. Um, and it needs to stop. Fake news really needs to stop because it's playing with people's minds. Natural disasters aren't a joking matter. They aren't something to be made fun of. They aren't something to add humor to because people can die. People can lose their homes. Think of the homeless. Think of the people who could lose families. It's really terrible stuff, guys, and it shouldn't be created um, to, to gain attention or to to do things like this it's really wrong i know there were also images of um things getting taken out that were also apparently fake so what this creates is a part where you just don't know what to believe anymore because one thing's fake one thing's real what if it, if the terrible disaster did occur and no one believed it i mean really guys people need to think before they post content onto social media and really think of people before they do it and not themselves in order to gain attention 
because it's really childish and stupid because people could go into panic attacks or, or God forbid, have um, heart attacks from stupid creations like this. Um, it's like that wolf will cry wolf story. It's just like this. So guys, think before you, you, you post stuff on social media because you don't know whose lives you'll be affecting. And I just wanted to, to bring that to light in today's video. And once again, my thoughts and prayers are with everyone affected in today's storm. Um, people who've lost their lives, their families and friends, and who, who have lost their homes. Obviously, we want the water in Cape Town and the Western Cape, but we don't want people to lose their lives for it. So my thoughts and prayers are with you all. Cape Town, stay safe, get warm, get dry, and try and find um, shelter if you don't have or get safe please my thoughts are with you all um, guys stay safe and be careful cheers